Hello everybody, happy Tuesday. I hope you're all well and I'm going to start opening up a parcel which includes three football shirts. It's about time I got through them because I've had people generously and kindly messaging me over the last month or so saying, hey Dan, have you seen these shirts for sale? And I'm like, yeah, I've already bought them, but I just haven't opened them yet. So it's only fair I get them open to save people the time of messaging me, trying to give me the heads up for these shirts. And also, I think at least... At the time of recording, they're all available in every single size still, and I feel like if you've never seen these for sale, there's probably a few of you out there watching these videos who might be tempted to pick them up. So at least if I release the videos before they sell out, it gives you an opportunity to make the decision at least whether or not you want to go for them. So I'm just going to open it up, pull out one shirt as random, and then that will be it. And I will continue to do that until all three shirts have been shown. No real crazy shirts this time, no expensive ones, but still a really cool shirt. Every shirt has its own story, and these shirts come from sort of a place in the world that we don't really add too many from. So, without further ado, let's get this one open and see what is going to be the number top shirt. Now, I think they have tags attached. That was only my slight worry. I've been feeling the uh, parcel, and I can at least feel one tag, so that's third of the shirts. So, the first one that we're going to pull out is this one here, which has a tag on, which is great. So, let's set aside this one here. So, there is a rear of a shirt. You have a white and red effort. And then you bring it round here. And we have more red and white. But it is, if you can probably tell, an Umbro shirt. So let's get this opened up. I was going to try and do it professionally, but let's just absolutely tear it apart. There we go. Throw that away. Oh, I can feel some paper. I can't get rid of you. Right then. So there is the rear of the shirt. You have this rather interesting design going on there. It's a white background with a sort of a, I don't know, what do they call it? A cuboid tessellated pattern. It's one of those sort of almost like one of those uh, mind eye sort of trickery sort of images. Anyway, let's bring it round to the front. And there we go. How about that? So we have a sash effort there running across the front in that red design. It is an Umbro shirt and um, very well done. If anybody is able to actually pick up this uh, club based on the uh, crest there. Now, some of you, like I said, have already mentioned that these shirts exist, so you'll probably be a little bit familiar. But if you've never seen this team before, uh, I wouldn't be too surprised. So don't feel too uh, disheartened if that's the case, because it's, um, yeah, it's an interesting one. But uh, yeah, I will address the mannequin as always, and I'll explain to you who they are. But I suppose most importantly, where I bought it from, because... Yeah, that's a really nice shirt. I have a feeling that some of you might want to add to their collection. Okay then, there is the shirt. And as always, when it comes to clubs from this part of the world, there is a pronunciation disclaimer because um, I have no real idea how to properly pronounce this, though I don't think many of you either will. So I can sort of say whatever I think and you'll just have to stick. So the club is Fatal Kanima FC and it's their home shirt from this season, 2022-2023, and it was picked up from M&M Direct, which obviously means the other two shirts were also from M&M Direct, and the price was of a massive £19.99. We're going nowhere near the £100 barrier right today, and I think £19.99, I always say anything less than £20 is a great deal for a football shirt, especially when it comes from Africa. But which team and which country is it specifically? It is Ethiopia, which I think probably a lot of you watching this may not have one from that country. I already had one from Ethiopia, but I was never going to turn down an opportunity to grab a second. Now, they uh, currently play in a place called Gondor, which is north of Lake Tana. Now, the club was founded in 1960 using the Ethiopian calendar. When you convert that to the Gregorian calendar, that wakes up to be about 1968. Now, they do actually play in the Ethiopian Premier League, which is the highest league in Ethiopia. And last season, they finished runners-up in second place. Uh, this season, though, it's not been going quite as well. They're currently sitting in sixth place. But, of course, there is still plenty of football to play. Though, historically, they have actually won the league title. You have to go all the way back to 2021. Yeah, just the season before the previous season. 
they won the league title. So it suggests that at least they are in the conversation recently as being one of the better teams, whether or not it's just one of those teams that has a quick spike and then just sort of disappears again. Well, I remember I saw when they when they won the league, they beat out a team that was wonderfully called Ethiopian Coffee. So I would love to add an Ethiopian Coffee Team shirt to my collection. I really don't think that's going to happen, but I probably wasn't going to expect to uh, get one of these either. Now, the club is actually named after an Ethiopian emperor called Facilities. I think that's probably how you don't pronounce it. And I can only imagine that's what that guy is there on the crest. Now, it is an Umbro manufactured shirt, and that's not going to be too surprising because Eminem Direct seemed to have this partnership with Umbro where you've, I bought the Dynamo Dresden shirt there. You've seen Schalke shirts. You've seen, I think, probably Werder Bremen shirts on there. And you have now this sort of drop of African teams and well I kind of knew that there was going to be well I anticipated there to be the tag because Umbro usually have tags but you just never know but I like how they've applied this one is they've attached it using a little bobby pin which means it doesn't sort of destroy the the uh, material as much now when it comes to the actual material it's kind of follows the same sort of pattern as a lot of my other umbro african shirts it's a very sort of cost effective way of doing the shirt with everything sort of screen printed onto the shirt apart from the crest and apart from the umbro logo which have been embroidered on which you don't see happening too frequently usually everything is just screen printed on but that's just the sponsors in this instance so this one actually reminds me of a southampton shirt you know with some of the the white and the red and this little sash grinning across the front and you know it's quite smart it's it's a simple cost-effective shirt and I think it's great just to if you're looking to boost up your numbers with something a little bit interesting and unique I think this is definitely one for you whether or not Eminem Direct have hundreds and hundreds of, of them in stock I don't know but um, at some point they will sell out and <laughs> so probably odds are they are not going to find too many of them floating around after that so if you are interested in grabbing an Ethiopian shirt then this is definitely certainly one for you it's very nice I um yeah I just knew I had to pick it up that's my second team from Ethiopia it's another African club I just any African club I try and buy because they just don't pop up too frequently but that is it that's number one from my M&M Direct haul I wonder what could be the next one well, there's only two left, and one of them I'm really looking forward to adding because some of you already know the reason why it will be, and the other ones will have to wait for it. So that is going to be it for this Tuesday's video. Another one will be opened on Friday, and then maybe the other one on Tuesday. I guess that makes sense. I'll figure out how I want to schedule these things. So please continue to have a great week. I hope you have a great week. Continue after that, and I'll see you in the video on Friday. Thank you as always for watching my videos. Goodbye.